Hi everybody, Sean Hayes here with Sean Merrick Audio and Visual here with our next lesson on pinhole photography. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at some techniques on how you could go about building a camera from scratch. The camera actually very similar to this. If you took a look at my previous lesson about pinhole designer, you can choose the dimensions for your camera there. Because today I'm not actually going to give you dimensions for a camera, I'm just going to show you some great techniques on how to put it together. That's one of the fun things about pinhole photography. You can make it any way that you'd like. So anyhow, let's go take a look at what we need. Okay, so what you need to build a camera from scratch here is, of course, get on Pinhole Designer and design the dimensions of it. But what we're going to build it out of today is black foam core material. Be careful, though, because you want to make sure you get black on black. It's the only kind that's light proof. And then all you need after that is some black duct tape and then a good old trusty hot glue gun do be careful with this it is hot and then to cut the material which I've already done here you can see I've already cut the material to cut it just cut it into the sizes that you want and you can cut that with a razor blade or a hobby knife um, make sure you're careful with that so you don't cut yourself and then um, you can start putting it together so the way you want to put this together, there's a couple of things here we want to look at on the example camera here first. So let's go ahead and open it up. I use Velcro on the sides here to hold it shut. So go ahead and open it up and you want to notice a couple of things. You want to have a piece that slides over the outside of the camera to keep it light proof. And then what I do is I have a piece that comes out and then your film, light sensitive material, photo enlarging paper, whatever you want to put in there will fit right in there and then this goes over top of it to hold it in flat and more light proofing. So anyhow, let's take a look at how this whole thing goes together. So first let's look at some techniques on how to glue it together to make sure that it's good and light proof. So what we're going to do here is on your pieces here, you want to lay down some hot glue right along there and then take the piece this here is going to be representing our front what I'm building here is kind of an expanded view of the camera I just showed you so you can see how it all goes together the reason I like to use hot glue is it's nice and fast but you could use uh, regular old Elmer's glue if you wanted but you will have to let each one dry for about 20-30 minutes before you can go on anyhow glue that together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the whole thing together to show you how it works here. So imagine this is like the front and I'm gluing on now one of the sides. And again, this is just going to be for display. This isn't the whole camera. Okay. Now this right here is an important piece. This window right here that I've cut out is going to be where you put the film up against on the back. So this one, you want to take a little time and make sure you get it placed in here right. But again, it's the same idea. Glue it down in the same exact way. And I've made a couple of marks with the pencil right here where this is supposed to go. And that's going to glue on there just like that. Okay. Now, you can see the basic idea of the camera here. This is going to be the front here where you put your pinhole. This would be the side you, of course, you'd have all four sides around here. And then right here is part of the back where you would place your film up on there. And then you want just a straight piece like this that fits nice and snug right in there. And you want to just, you don't glue that in, that's removable. Now, how you want to make this light proof now is you've glued that. Now, you can't see it, but if you hold these edges up to the light, they will let light through, which is where the duct tape comes in. Now, the duct tape here is simple. Just peel it off and stick it over the edges. And make sure you get all of your edges with your duct tape here. And take a little time with this here and make it look nice. 
And you'll have a camera that will hold up really well to a lot, a lot of use. Just take it, put it right over your edges, just like that. And that's going to make all your edges good and light proof. Now I'm just going to do this on a few of the edges here because this is just an example of how one would go together. But you know, of course, you'd want to do around the corners. Now you don't want to do in this lip right here because that's inside the camera, so it's already light proof. Now I've already built this here, but what you want to do for the back is you want to build a little tray and then tape all the edges just like that so that you can put your back on like that and then put your light proofing back on just like so and it'll slide over the outside and keep everything good and light proof and then the great thing is after you place your pinhole here in the front which you can just refer back to one of my previous lessons where I'll show you how to make a pinhole all you need is a simple shutter this here is the scrap I cut out of the center of the film carrier right here and I'm going to take a piece of our duct tape here place that right over the top here to make a hinge and I'm going to put it right over where my pinhole would be and then it's just that easy flip it up count for however long you want use your stopwatch for your exposure let it down and then take this into the dark room remove your film develop it have some fun with it alright so now that you've got your camera all put together of course yours will be completed I'm going to show you a couple of little things that will make it a little easier to use. First thing is the back plate, which is that piece that goes right back here. Sometimes you'll find that's a little tough to get out. Real easy trick, take a little of your duct tape, take it, fold it in half on itself, leaving some little tabs. just like so, and then stick it straight on to the back of your back board there, and you'll have yourself a handy dandy little pull tab to get that off. Make sure you stick that down real good, maybe add a couple of extra pieces of tape if you need it. Make a nice handy dandy little pull tab, pop that guy out. Now on the original camera, <clears throat> something fun that I like to do is I took a lip balm container and used it as my shutter. I drilled the pinhole directly into it, prepare it the same way you would any other, sand it down both sides, place the pinhole in it, sand it again, and then just take the cap, put it on there, that's your shutter, open it up, put it on this real, it's great, just cut a hole in there, hot glue it in, it's perfect. Something else you may have noticed when I was showing you the original camera is this, this squishy material right here. But what that is, is that is some weather stripping material that I picked up over at the hardware store. I'm finding that you may not even really need that. But if you're worried about light proof, go ahead and toss a little on the outside of that and a little on the inside of your lid, and then you don't have to worry about it at all. So this is Sean Hayes with Sean Merrick Audio and Visual signing out. Go have some fun with pinhole photography, and I'll see you next time.